Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And in this video, I'll show you how can you run Xiaomi ADB Fastboot tool in your Windows PC. That's pretty much easy. All you just need a Java runtime software environment. So if you can see the file type, you can right to click over this and you can go to the properties. You can see it is .jar. That means we need Java software environment. Otherwise, you will be able to see just a zip package if you open it through a WinRAR or anything. All right, so first thing that we need is the Java software environment you can get the download link from the description down below the first thing which is required to run this application properly all right now the second thing is this jdk tool this is also again the java package so this is the other file which needs uh, a few things like the dot bin and other uh, class specified which is part of java all right so just download this one as well and just uh, run it and install it right here we have the package uh, for the first time you might see like keep it or discard it just give it the permission okay all right so the file is done we are just going to follow the same thing which we had done before for the java software environment and this is the jdk all right copying all the files and this is done as well right so uh, now i'm just going to download these uh, this new file I mean so you can see there is no other monkey business so you can trust this is really a thing and right all right so here we are with the fresh thing and if I right click over this I'm just going to click over open with open JDK if you don't see the package just go manually choose from and then select this thing right so you can see this is showing that there's an error so if you're using older version of adb tool or the package you could see like fatal error or something else and if you're using the latest this could be the thing so to fix this all you just have to go to your phone and you have to turn on the developer option i mean the usb debugging module you can tap over your MIUI version several times and then it will enable the option called additional settings right over there you can switch to developer option and then or you just have to turn on the usb debugging but make sure this is really a risky area i mean this could access all the things which is contained in your phone so make sure uh you go well with this thing right so here we have the list but i want to make it sure it goes fine so i'm just going to turn on other extra additional uh, permissions uh, like setting changes and all so just turn it on you can turn it off later but these are the things uh, you should enable uh, if you want to remove the blow face properly right okay done right so uh, i'm just going to select file transfer mode and after this it could ask you like uh, uh, an other uh, notification coming up with uh, like enable usb debugging i have done that before so it is not going to prompt again in front of me so make sure to turn that on like give it a permission all right, so here I am running this application once again with the JDK thing, and uh, you can see it has taken the serial number, the code name, uh, I mean, uh, the code name of the device. And for example, if I want to remove this me move for tool uh, which comes along, I can select hit uninstall and it will be gone forever. And you can uh, take it back, I mean, revert it back using that other feature given in there and that's it so this is how you can fix fatal error and all if you got any other questions to ask you can ask me down in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day bye bye